Okay, this is it. Video number one of eight. This is going to be a series about... About Forsaken. About Forsaken. Yeah, this is a board game, uh, obviously. Uh, we're going to come to Kickstarter with this uh, September 6th through uh, Game Trays Lab, which is a new publishing studio from Game Trays. You're probably familiar with their plastics. They're already on your shelf, right? Uh, this is our first publishing endeavor, and this is a an open-world sandbox adventure set in a sci-fi western setting. Uh, you are uh, one of these characters here. You've found yourselves on this world for whatever reason, uh, and your goal here is to become a legend in whatever way that you can. You can go around uh, and interact with the factions and do jobs. You can uh, hunt after bounties. You can pursue your own personal storyline. And there's just 130,000 words of narrative here just to tell an infinite number of stories. That's right. That's right. And so, Mike, why, we, we probably should tell them a little bit about ourselves, right? Because so. Because the game is cool, but we are also cool because yeah. we are people. And in a lot of our past projects, like we've been behind the scenes. Like People probably don't know our faces. No. Unless they have... have I just us. recently acquired this face. Actually. Yeah. It was a big change. Wasn't first pick, by the way. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So, my name is Travis uh, Chance. I, I've been working in the industry for a decade. Uh, I've I'm a little bit of a career mutant. Like I've I've done uh, the elbow. <laughs> I've done uh, I've done publishing. Uh, I owned a company called Action Phase Games. I've done game design. I've uh, and I've done a ton of of working with creative people like Mike and help them to publish their games. Uh, develop their games and bring their games uh, to the world at large. Um, I used to run Colossal Games, uh, and I currently work at the, the very amazing Simon Games. Uh, so, and this is uh, my first endeavor with Game Trays Lab, the, the new studio arm of Game Trays, uh, and it's been really, really cool. So, who are you? Uh, well, I want to I ask you a question first. How many Kickstarter projects have you worked on, and how many of those have fulfilled and reached backers? Thirty-four and thirty-four. This is 35. Amazing. That's, really That's crazy, right? Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Not a lot of people have that kind of, that kind of track record, right? I know. So, uh, My name is Mike. Uh, Mike Mihielsik. Uh, it had spelled a weird way. But uh, uh, I am a uh, designer and developer, uh, and not the other way around. Um, I like to make games. I've been doing that since 2010. Um, I started working in the board game industry around 2016. I, I first kind of dipped my toes into project management. And, uh, but always stayed with that design and dev core. Um, there are a few uh, release titles that I have that are out on shelves now. Uh, most of them are from uh, for through retail. Uh, and uh, I was brought on through Game Trees to open this new publishing studio with Game Trees Lab. Um, I'm the, uh, the director of games for them, and we are looking to start making really cool games that are adding a third dimension to the table presence, that are adding, that are using these plastics uh, for both form and function, and really trying to, um, you know, to, to, to elevate gameplay and, and, and table production to the next level. Um, I look forward to doing that, hopefully, for the next 155 years. Yeah, same. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it, it is not even just, like, the, the presentation. It's not even just about, like, like, Noah showing people that he can make more than cool, mm -hmm. you know, custom storage bins for the what, what, 175 cool games that he's worked with. Mm -hmm. This is also about, like, trying to do something different, trying to do something really different in the design space, trying to do something really different with this genre of game, trying to do something really different with how games are telling stories, yeah. um, why they're telling stories, like who the stories are about. Uh, the, we're, I feel like th this project is, like genuinely, I've worked on, uh, and I, like no hyperbole, I've worked on hundreds of games, and this is by far the biggest, the most ambitious, the most audacious thing that I've ever had a part in. Uh, and I'm super proud of it, and, and I'm super proud of it. Uh, and this is a really cool moment to be able to sit down and talk about this at length and share this over the course of these these videos with you guys um, and girls out there, and we really can't wait to, to dig in more. So yeah. this is video one of eight. Yeah, seven more. We're going to be talking about the world. We're going to be introducing you to different characters, the different systems that kind of underlie uh, all these things. And I'm excited to get into it. I'm, yeah, I, I mean, want these people to know everything about this game. Yeah, we even have a. There's even going to be a video about like the stuff that we failed at, like right. that, like the false starts, like the like where we thought what we thought the game would be, and and how it's not that at all. Um, every little minor detail, and there's so many. There's so many little little touchstones in this game. So. Uh, we're really excited to get into that with all of you, and thank you so much. 
tune in for the next one. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a, 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 a plastic laden ride uh, or a, a game tray laden ride with lots of components and cubes and, and, and life trackers and gear cards and weapon cards and all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So and, and, and also unnecessary details. So uh, enjoy. I can't wait. <laughs> High five.